What's up everyone, Fred Nielsen here. This is the Windows 7 Ultimate Review. Now Windows 7 has been launched for, or was launched about a month ago I think. Um, it was a huge success, uh, quickly, go, go, um, quickly over doubling the sales of Windows Vista. Now this is basically built the same way of Windows Vista with the IRO effects and many other effects. So let's get started with the overview and review. So the ultimate has the most functions. I'm not really familiar what the other packs don't have. I've had this since the beta release, so I am pr a pretty experienced Windows 7 user. So let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is the new interface here. So when, for example, you press a, uh, this is the new quick launch buttons, and they're much, much bigger, and the taskbar is bigger, bigger and more transparent as well. You'll notice new icons, uh, keep the current color scheme. Scheme. I don't know. By clicking the battery, you d you get a job list right here instead of having to go through a big or a window that'll use most of your uh, processing speed. So here you have I love the settings. Also another good thing is Microsoft Security Essential, a very good and free antivirus. Just to put it out here, to put it out there. Now this is the quick launch bar, as I said, when you press it, there comes a splash. Now for some reason my Windows 7 is blocked, I think it's something to do with tune-up utilities, or actually it does, I am going to fix that pretty soon. So you get this cool splash screen normally, and as you can see down here, normally, there's this glow that follows your mouse, it's a really really cool effect. Unfortunately, um, well I haven't fixed that yet. So. As you can see, this is the libraries. You can add new libraries, and this is basically, well, I take libraries as a shortcut to your most important document folders. Documents, pictures, music, videos. That's the default ones. So, um, you can also see the folders icons have been refined, and there's this thing called home group, where you can, well, share files, etc., in, in your home. Okay, is this search document and files has also become bigger. If you want to search for, for example, Winver, it takes up the whole screen here. So Winver, you have here, Windows 7 build 7.6.0.0. Also, for example, if you have had a recent opened program like this one, you can just go to the list and it will show you the new ones. Usually it's more sleek when it moves because it's a really sleek operating system with really some smooth moves and well just smooth a lot of stuff uh, the new wallpaper is actually also pretty nice there's a new control panel icon the computer icon is the same as Vista if you were the kind of people that didn't like Vista I would definitely recommend Windows 7 I, uh, I have Windows 7 running on a second drive on my computer and Vista running on the other now Vista, um, what I took for being a pretty fast thing before, took me, I don't know, about a minute to boot up to come and put in the password. Now then it had to install or initialize so that I could start using the computer and that would take a while as well. Windows 7, it just turns on, it's on the splash screen, it's on the um, login screen, it's on your desktop so quick and the icons function directly it's totally amazing so there's a lot of new features in Windows 7 the speed has been improved so much I have had I haven't had any blue screen of deaths or doom I don't know what you call it blue screen of death or blue screen of doom. I don't know also it's just more sleek, you know? It's much more responsive and fast than Vista. Of course, I'm running Camtasia Studio right now, and I have had this uh, problem because of the... I've disabled some of the sleek features, but I'm going to re change that, as I said. Uh, the start button here is also new. Normally, it fades in. It's it's pretty cool. So, Windows 7 has new feet, new or improved security, improved speed, and I mean of really, really, really good speed. It has a lot of features like, let's come with them, no, not open iTunes. Let's open a few Explorer windows, and yes, if you were to, for example, do this, you can open Explorer, just like that. Why does it constantly do that? Because I'm not having it on my mouse. So here I have three windows. Let's say it's packed, like, 
at the end of the day, it's always packed. By just shaking, you can minimize them all, release, shake again, and they'll be coming back at the exact same position, which is an amazing feature. You just want to get rid of those windows really quick. You have to move it pretty much, actually. But yeah, that's another thing. If, for example, you want to move files from one folder to another and drag a lot of files, it's pretty good to just drag your mouse to the screen while holding the window, release, and it'll take up half of your monitor space. Goes to the left side and it'll take up the other side. So, by now, we can go in pictures and we can just move folders over here. Pretty cool. Um, also, if you let's just exit this. If you want to, for example, um, well, what happens if you take it up? It maximizes. Very simple. Very cool feature. You can also double click, but that was introduced in XP, I think. I don't know. I became a computer geek first when Vista was launched. So I was, I was a pretty big Vista fan. I liked Vista over Windows XP. I know, I know, a bad thing. I didn't know how slow Vista was until I started using Windows XP, Windows 7 on a regular basis. Ex the exact time I got it, I used it every day, except for the uh, comp comp compatibility issues like Adobe Suites, those did not work on my um, Windows 7 drive, so I had to install those on Vista. So I was still the a Vista user. Uh, well, it is it is packed with new features. As I said, security. It's faster. It's just overall better. So let's get on to what I actually think you should do. Oh yeah, there's. I should show you a few more features. When you slide over a window here. Let's open Google Chrome as well. When you slide over a window and you go over it, you see a preview. So all the other windows disappear here. See now, even though Chrome was maximized and the other window windows was maximized, we can now see uh, the one I'm hovering over. You see everything else. So, you, so it's there's no confusion and it's really quick. Just press it and it's in front. So the taskbar is now called the super bar. Well, well, it was at least not officially, but by many fans. Whoa, I unpinned it. So yeah, that was actually a pretty good thing I did because if you un by pinning something, let's open documents. Let's go on libraries. So here is the taskbar. As I said, it was kind of like quick launch. Um, if you want to pin something to the taskbar, if you have it open, just right click, pin to taskbar. Now you can close it down and it will disappear. You can also move the icons around. That was a feature in Windows 7 that you could, uh, a third party feature, but now it has been introduced in the operating system itself. Um, well, there is a lot more to say. You can also close the window down. Pretty useful feature. So there's a lot of improved multitasking features in Windows 7. So if you're one of those who work a lot on the computer, I would definitely recommend it. So you can unpin it from the taskbar by just going up here and then unpin from taskbar. Really, really simple. Ugh, there is so much. I just don't really know what to take. And even though there is so much, you just get used to it all so quick and you just love it. Every second. Um, yeah, the shutdown button, as you can see here, has also been improved. Wow. Well, Windows 7 is overall a fantastic operating system. It's so much more than Vista should have been, as many of the tech sites say. And it's true. It is really, really true. Vista was, well, a big loss for Microsoft, but Windows 7, well, is their greatest operating system yet, beating Win Windows XP. So that is pretty much it. You have a ton of additional features along with new themes that you can get by personalizing and as you just saw some of the f but you can just right thing you can already adjust the screen resolution so there's the th these themes that you can get online or they're already in now also here as I said or I didn't actually if you hover over this it'll uh, make every window you have transparent by clicking it and minimize everything so this is a theme with many pictures, and you can do those pretty easily. Um, let's just right click, and it says here, 
next desktop background. Nah, I don't like that one. I pretty much like that one, but there's another one like yeah, this one's good. This one is really good. So as you can see, it's just you right click, next desktop background. Everything is just faster, easier, more responsive in Windows 7. So much more. Uh, the arrow features are also really, really great. Uh, so if you want to change the slides that come, you can just go and browse, go on the pictures, select the pictures you want to be in the slide, and just, uh, you can even make them slide as you want them to. Change every 30 minutes, change every hour, 10 seconds. Let's try that, actually. Save changes, let's minimize, and in 10 seconds, or actually less now, this will change the background. And normally it fades, but as I said, I disabled the arrow features, or some of them, which is actually a pretty bad thing, because I really love those. So you pretty much get the drift by now. I like the Windows 7 one. Uh, I think I might change the architecture one, actually. So you can change the screensaver here, the window color, there's a lot more than the in the previous installation of Vista, which only had I think one line here. Now Windows 7 has a lot more. Changed advanced appearance settings, etc., etc. So overall, Windows 7 is a great and nifty operating system that I would definitely recommend that you check out in maybe one of the new Microsoft stores that has just opened, or you can check it out on well computers in well computer stores so check it out it's really worth it and one of the things or one of the really big features of Windows 7 Ultimate especially is the XP mode I have not installed it yet but I will probably do so Windows XP mode is basically a virtual machine that comes with your package you have to download well you have to download it with Windows 7 Ultimate and uh, you can get it install it and you can actually run a virtual copy of Win Windows XP inside of Windows 7 so you have it full screen and it doesn't look like you're into in Windows 7 it just you're just an XP you can customize your computer with themes with backgrounds you have your own hard drive inside it's, it's like Windows 7 wasn't there except your computer makes a little more noise but that's about it so thank you very much for checking out this video what are you going to do by Windows 7 test it I don't know what are you gonna do I would definitely recommend it. Take my word for it. This, my, I would say, out of 10, I would definitely give it a 10. Yeah, 10. The best Windows operating system ever. Maybe a 9.5 because it is very stable and all, but sometimes the IRO features could just be a little too much for the operating system, but that is really not the case very often. Maybe, yeah, 9... Uh, nine and three quarters nine and three quarters that's a perfect score for windows 7 so what are you going to do buy it or what i would definitely recommend it please follow me on twitter that's twitter.com slash fred nielsen subscribe to this channel if you liked it check out my other videos and uh, i'm also very sorry for the, a little poor a pretty poor video with a lot of uhs and uh, didn't know don't know what to say thingies like right now okay so have a nice day